Greetings, YouTube. Um, today's article is going to be coming out of the Christian Science Monitor, a, an organization which from the Christian Science Church, and it has a history of independent um, journalism. Um, but in this particular case, it's not so independent. And yes, in case anyone's wondering, I did in fact film all three videos um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the same time. Um, the first of a seven-part longish read article series from the Christian Science Monitor, How the Push for Gay Rights is Reshaping the Religious Liberty in America. As gay rights rapidly expand, some religious conservatives worry that their ability to live public lives according to their faith is being swept away. Well, in case of the Christians, I believe they have been admonished from public displays of their faith, that they're in fact supposed to be at home praying, not using the public square to declare their faith to the world at large. So right out of the gate, I have a negative slant on this entire narrative being put forth by the Christian Science Monitor. Um, and I think that their independent journalism integrity has been tossed out the window. Um, and additionally, again, social conservatism is about not just living your life the way you want to live it, because anyone can do that. It is about attempting to impose your world view onto other people who haven't decided for themselves to follow those particular edicts. You are taking away their agency and saying, you must follow my edicts, whether you want to or not. And here are some examples that the uh, that are, are, are being brought up in this particular discussion. And the Metafilter discussion below the article is epic in size. Um, a florist caught between faith and financial ruin. When a florist was forced to choose between a beloved customer who was gay and following her Christian convictions, she made a decision that changed lives and perhaps how the law will see such cases in the future. Excuse me? Can you show me where Jesus said, be a discriminatory, intolerant bastard to your fellow citizens? Go look that up for me. There's nothing in there, I don't believe, that he, about him saying you can't talk to people that lead lives that you don't agree with. That you can't do business with them. But again, there is nothing in any holy book, to the best of my knowledge, that says that someone is required to own a business. If your faith is so strong and you want to isolate yourself so completely from the world around you, don't own a business. Owning a business is not required in your religious texts. It's not required by law. You have chosen to do that. And if you've chosen to own a business and deal with the public in the public sphere, you must deal with all of the public, like it or not. And you are not allowed to discriminate against people because if you do, people are going to sue you. You are going to lose. And then you may lose your business. Okay, this, this is not that complex an idea. Behind legal fight over religious liberty, a question of conscience. The religious right of conscience was once a powerful legal idea, but when weighed against the right for equal treatment in recent gay rights cases, it has consistently lost ground, which I just discussed. Everyone deserves to be treated equally under the law. Everyone deserves to be able to engage in commerce without having the, the, the class of individual you belong to Given a blanket statement, no, we don't want plaid people. And that's what so many of these businesses are doing. They want to impose their religious view on other people. Now, just because you make a display of flowers or a cake for someone, and you find the, the process deplorable because or displ it displeases you, because you know the flowers or the cake are going to be used and eaten or eaten by by gay people. They're not asking for your endorsement. You're not being given an invitation to the wedding along with the cake that you're making for them. It doesn't matter if you don't like the people. Just make the cake. Do the, the flowers. Stop trying to impose your worldview on other people. Um, in Mississippi gay rights battle, both sides feel they are losing. When Mississippi passed a law defending religious liberty, it felt like overkill to LGP residents who have virtually no protection anyway. 
but religious conservatives say they are trying to hold back a tide. A tide of what? Progressive social change? That makes you in the wrong. Hold back a tide of what? Making sure that everyone has human rights and civil liberties? That makes you in the wrong. And we have seen social conservatism like this used in the past to tell minorities, sorry, no plaid people allowed. Oh, you can't marry that person. They're plaid. We've seen this in within my own lifetime. It was illegal for white people and black people in some states in America to get married. So social conservatism here is being used to impose prejudices and bigotry upon the world at large. And they are hiding it behind a veneer of religion. It was bullshit in the past, and it's bullshit now. Is wedding photography art a wrinkle in religious liberty debate? Can refusing to take a wedding pictures for a gay couple be a free speech issue, not just a question of religious freedom? So far, carts, courts are saying no. You are in business. You are being asked to take pictures of something. Take the pictures of something. Now, you could say... I don't do wedding pictures. Okay. Asking you to take wedding pictures when you don't do wedding pictures, I got no problem then. But you like to do sport events. You like to do landscapes. You like to do commercial products. Fine by me. But if you say, I shoot weddings, then shoot the friggin' wedding. Um, for those on the front lines of religious liberty battle, a very human cause. Conservative Christians who have gone to court rather than serve Gay clients against their religious convictions have lost their cases, and in some instances, much more. Cry me a friggin' river. I, I have no sympathy for a bigot that loses out in a bigoted case. Now, I may have, may have sympathy for the fact that they are a fellow human being, and that they are obviously scared silly. And I may have, I have compassion for them, but I do not have sympathy for their, their effort to impose prejudices, prejudices and intolerance through our legal system under the guise of religion upon the world at large. Push to help gay couples find wedding joy without rejection. Gay couples worry about rejection when they search for wedding vendors. A new suite of businesses is growing to serve them and head off conflict. Awesome. But separate we equal wasn't fair the first time we tried it nor the thousandth time we tried it, it isn't fair now. We don't need a separate segment of the business world to serve the gay community. We need the business community to understand that you don't get to be prejudicial bigots to the world at large. And I'm, I'm really tired, so tired of having to cover this issue, but they keep hammering at this over and over again. Um, here's one. Here's a here's a good quote from one of the people, which is "Be short." They're pining for a day when they uh, where they could refuse service based on their own prejudices and claim that they're doing God's work. You want to be part of society, then you have to follow society's rules. I doubt they would be okay with being on the receiving end of this treatment. Of course they would. If if if, if we if someone else treated them badly, I'm sorry. No Christians allowed. Suddenly there will be all kinds of controversy. Because they'd be rolling right back into the same defenses that everyone else tries to do. That was, well, how do you tell someone they're Christian? Can you tell a Christian just by looking at them? I can't tell a Christian just by looking at them. Funny about that, huh? That we are attacking you for who you are. Now remember, in the United States... One of the protected classes is religious affiliation. First Amendment. Religious freedom. And that's not a genetic trait. You aren't born out of the womb being a Zoroastrian, or a Sikh, or a Buddhist, or Jewish, or Muslim, or Christian. This is something you pick up in life and you can change it at any time. I was raised Catholic. I became an atheist. I became an agnostic. I became a neo-pagan. I am multitudes! But we protect that. No one questions that. And a civil society would protect minority groups of other varieties. 
Obviously, in the United States, Christianity isn't a priority group, but there are many religions that are. Agnosticism, atheism, neo-paganism, all minority groups. And we protect you because those are your religious choices. So all we're asking is to give the same types of perfect protections to the group of gay community, trans community. To not say to gay people or trans people that you can't come here for who you are. That is not how a civil society functions. And I am sick to death of these social conservatives attempting to impose their worldview onto other people. If you want to live a socially conservative life, nothing is stopping you. Nothing. And if your socially conservative worldview comes in conflict with your ability to, to own a business, then don't own a business. That's, that's it. Just don't. Because you have to serve the public. Or you will be sued, and you will lose, and you may lose your business. So how about you just serve the public? Take their money. Provide the service that your business does. And you never have to mention your faith. You never have to mention anyone's gender, or their orientation, or anything like that. You just do business. I know a guy who owns a store, and he commented to me once, he said, black, white, brown, yellow, the only color I see is green. Now, he's a bit of a antisocial douche nozzle on occasion, but he's in business to do business. He doesn't care who you are, as long as you're there to do business. That seems to be a pretty healthy stance to take when you own a business. Provide the service, take the money, everybody's happy. Why is this so difficult for social conservatives? Oh, that's right! Because they're trying to impose their beliefs on the world at large.